everyone and welcome back to RC Fun and Games. I am Ryan and today we are back in the 110 scale garage to continue talking about the 1800 kV brushless setup from Secure. So in the last video I took it out for a test after installing it and I was so impressed with the overall performance from this system. Now the only things left to talk about is of course the Wi-Fi link and to check out how easy or how difficult it is to get yourself linked up to it to change the settings. And of course, we'll also be checking out the BEC, which is part of the electronics, and exactly how to set it up for the servo that you've got on your truck. So let's get this body off and let's get stuck in. Okay, so I've opened up the electronic tray so I can access the tab. So let's get that tab pulled out. Now, all we have to do is plug in our Wi-Fi link. Then all we have to do is plug in the battery and as you can see, it's on. The red light is on over there. Okay, and all we're going to do is open our Wi-Fi links. We are going to choose the Escape 32. And as you can see, it's as easy as that. To pair yourself to the unit, and in here, you've got loads of settings. So let's just say you want to reverse the motor. You can change the, to a brush system. You can change the timing of the motor. You've got loads of different adjustments. Let's just say you don't like forward and reverse. You can choose just forward or you can choose forward, brake, reverse. It's all over here and easy to set up. And of course, you've also got all the throttle controls, endpoints, middle points. You've got everything right over here. So very easy to set up, really easy to link to it as well. And don't forget, if you change any of the settings, you've got save at the bottom here. You hit that and then you just disconnect from the unit again, plug it back into the um, receiver and you're ready to go. Now, it even tells you down here the voltage of your battery. It's a really nice little unit, and the program itself works really, really well. I'm very impressed with the whole system so far. Now, if you pay attention down here, you have got the BEC, okay, which is incorporated in these electronics, and the BEC is used to change the voltage to your servo. Now, depending on the servo you're running, you would want to change it from 5.5 to 6.5, 7.2s, 8.2, or even 12 with this unit. So that's insane. It's got loads of power. Depends just on what servo you're running. For example, I'm running an Epsima Combat Series. Okay, so this one over here can only run on 6 volts, but changing it through here is not going to change the settings. In the future versions, yes, you'll be able to change it through the Wi-Fi link. But at the moment, you have to change it by soldering two little tabs together on the electronics. Okay, so I'm going to show you over here. I've had to cut this little piece away so I could solder. But basically, you've got these three little tabs. You see them over there? One says 6 volt, one says 7.2 volt, one says 12 volt. Now, to be able to use the 6 volt, you only solder that one together. Because my servo is only a 6 volt, I've only sol soldered that one together. Let's just say yours is a 7.2 volt, you solder the middle one together. If yours is the 8 volt, you solder the 6 and the 7.2 volt together. And if you're running a 12 volt servo that you want that extra power, you solder all three together to be able to get the extra power from it. Now, it's really easy to use, really easy to set up. If you're not experienced at soldering, it's going to be a bit tricky, but I haven't got that much experience. I've only been doing it for a few years and it was relatively easy to bridge that little joint and get it to run on 6 volts. So now, basically, I might as well close it back up and turn it all off. So I'm just going to exit the app. And then I'm going to unplug the battery again. I can just unplug the Wi-Fi unit. Okay, now all i got to do is put the tab back in its place. Now I'm going to close up the electronics and as you can all see it was as easy as that to connect this thing to the Wi-Fi link. It is a really easy system and in my opinion really user friendly. Okay, The only thing I've got to complain about is about having to solder the actual unit so that you can get the back power. But like I mentioned I'm not an experienced person at soldering and I managed to do it so I'm sure everybody else will as well. And like I've mentioned in the future you'll be able to change 
the BEC settings through the Wi-Fi link. At the moment on this electronics, you will have to do what I have done. Now, let me get these electronics closed up. Let's get out. Let me just take you guys on a little small trail. But before I do that, I just want to say thanks for joining me on another little tutorial video. And I hope you guys understood. If there's anything you didn't understand, feel free to ask in the comments. I'm always yeah. I always respond. Even if I do take a day or two, I always respond to the messages. Now, before I run away, I just want to say if you like this content, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Of course, it really helps me bring more content like this to all of you. So all I've got left to say is happy trails and I'll catch you all on the next one.